In Robin Tabeling and Selina Piek, the Netherlands possess a mixed doubles duo rubbing shoulders with the world's top 20. Previously with different partners, Tabeling and Piek began their alliance in 2019 with a promising start. As, as a new partnership, but what uh, is most important that the on-court feeling is right and that the communication is right. We're both uh, expressive persons, we speak up and sometimes that can work good, but it can also work against you. But in those first two tournaments, we found a good rhythm and a good way, and I think that pushed us in the right direction. Yeah, I totally agree. Sometimes a new partnership can also uh, regain your motivation um, because you really want to do well from the beginning. And it can also help in the beginning because there's no footage of you yet. We sat down with the Dutch duo to find out more about the strides their exciting partnership has made since. <gasps> When you first start, no one knows you, so you can actually play very freely and without any pressure. After that, I think we continuously grew our level, but we had some ups and downs. Uh, we showed that our peak and top level is, is very high, but we need to be a lot more consistent. Um, sometimes when we're equal with a pair or the pair is a little bit below us, we, we tend to lose those matches through easy mistakes or lacking some self-confidence, and we need to be more on top of that. But overall, I think uh, our game has grown. The top four is really settled in and they show that they can be consistent every tournament. But if you look a little bit more below that, so starting from eight to 20, I think a lot of pairs have beaten each other. So being consistent is, is one of the hardest things to do. We actually spoke about it this morning that the, the, the last percentages of, of a game or of improving yourself are the hardest. And that's what makes the difference between a top five pair and a pair below. Um, it's just essential at world stage level. Yeah, two, two or three shots are not good enough anymore. You need to make five good choices in a row and, and even more when you're progressing, actually. So that's something uh, we, we need to work on in the future. The Europeans have always done well in mixed doubles. There's always been a pair. I think amongst the top, top 10 at least, and maybe a few more. But it's, it's pretty typical that every country has one good mixed double pair. There's one German pair, there's a French pair, you have us, you have a Danish pair, you have a Russian pair, they're all in top 25. They're, they're becoming better and better, and you need to step up. And, and also you look around and you feel like, hey, they're stepping up, they're stepping up, we need to step up. So I also think we really motivate each other to uh, to, to, to beat the, the Asian pairs and to beat uh, the pairs in the top 10 and try to see if we can get uh, as much Europeans uh, up top. Before that, I was a little bit tired of traveling all the time, jet lag in, jet lag out, uh, training. At that time, I was, yeah, I learned to, when that fell away, I, I, I noticed that I was missing it actually. I was actually more afraid about the Olympic Games being removed because yeah, that's everything you have been working so hard for. So once that got postponed, I actually felt some kind of inner calmness as well. Like, okay, hey, this is a situation. Let's make the best out of it and look forward instead of, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. For me, the, the, I am really impatient, basically. <laughs> so I, I learned to get a lot of patience, uh, which I don't like, but it's how it is. Um, I, I kind of agree with what Selena says, that you, when, when you cannot do what you like and love, you, you really start to miss it, and you really value that you can do it. And that's also actually what we're experiencing right now, and we're back at it. And I was actually a little bit nervous because I haven't been packing for so long. Like, what should I take? Um, what should we bring? <laughs> Normally it was such a routine, but, but I almost had to look for my passport. Like, hey, where is it? Everything they did here to, to be precautious and to make sure everybody's safe, uh, minimize contact. Like Selena said, it took a while to get the rhythm going. In the beginning, I think I've sat outside in a bus for 45 minutes, like, why cannot not go out but they just needed to find the rhythm and once they've got it they really listen to us as players we really appreciate it as it makes our life better and easier Roman is a very good partner to me he's very explosive fast um, expressive has a really good attacking smash I think we are 
communicating wise on the same level, which makes it really nice. And uh, sometimes when I'm communicating, I can be really tough for my partner. And I think uh, he's, he's okay with that. He can, he can lay it beside him and, and doesn't get too affected by it. So I think he has a good and strong personality, which I really like. I agree that she can be a little bit critical also sometimes, but maybe that's something I'm missing sometimes where I'm a little bit too kind. Like, yeah, okay, it can happen. And she is like, no, can't happen. We're gonna change it. And maybe that's also a little bit of the fire I need. Um, furthermore, she is a fast girl, moves around in the net quite quick, which is important in mixed doubles. Um, and that way I can uh, exploit my attacking options a little bit more. And I think that's what uh, makes us a dangerous pair. If I look even further, I think they're always like the Europeans and the world, um, yeah, which are the most important tournaments uh, in a year. I really want to get in a top 10 and from that position on, uh, yeah, looking up and, and build our position uh, more towards that top 5 position and eventually being the number 1, that will be very ideal.